I'm Kristen Peake here with 2023 Five Star Point Guard Kylan Boswell. Uh, we're getting the season underway. I want to say I don't think anybody had a better summer than you. Thank you you kind of blew up. Yep. You guys won Peach Jam. Yep. Then you went and you won a gold medal with yep. Team USA. How was the summer for you? Uh, it was a pretty crazy summer. Uh, went going straight from Centennial to Section Seven. We won both of those tournaments and then Peach Jam and Team USA. Uh, I mean, it's kind of a blessing. I mean. Not many people get the opportunity to go to Team USA, which in Mexico for a month, which is pretty crazy. But I mean, it's been a crazy summer. How was it going from, like you said, like did you feel any fatigue going from Peach Jam to Team USA? Oh, oh yeah, I, I was tired as heck when we uh, after that Peach Jam, we were in there for like two weeks. Uh, I was I was super tired going to Team USA, but I mean, like I feel like that that team on Team USA, we were a very good team, and we kind of made up for everybody's fatigue because we were all kind of coming from our yeah. from our Peach Jam tournament. But I mean, that was a really good team. Okay, and uh, you transferred. You're in a new school now, AZ Compass Prep, uh, coming from California to Arizona. What's been the biggest jump for you uh, going from high school basketball to prep? Uh, I'd say the intensity, the in practice. Uh, these practices are kind of harder than the games. Coach Ed getting on us every day. It's, uh, it's, it's much more intense, but it's going to get me prepared for the next level. Yeah, and you're only a junior, so you have plenty of time on the recruitment front, but you have a ton of offers. Schools like Florida, Michigan, Creighton, Vanderbilt, Washington, Louisville, Arizona, UNW, we're still going, Texas Tech, Kansas, Texas, Stanford, UCLA, Illinois, and USC. What is it like to get all those offers from all these different schools and knowing that, you know, you're good enough to play at these universities? Um, I mean, definitely blessed. Uh, at first, it was kind of overwhelming because it was very new to me. But over time, I kind of got more comfortable talking to college coaches and receiving the offers. But it's just—it's been pretty crazy how, how many coaches believe in me and think I can perform at their program. It's pretty crazy. Out of all those schools, are there any other schools that are kind of um, talking to you and saying that they're interested and they haven't extended an offer yet? Uh, Gonzaga has talked to me. Uh, Coach Chin at Kentucky has reached out to me. Um, there's more. I can't think of more right now off the top of my head. I know there's more, but there, uh, right off the top of my head, all I can think of Gonzaga okay. and Kentucky right now. Same with Gonzaga. I mean, obviously, they're very successful, yeah. and they get to the tournament year after year, and you see Jalen Suggs. You see these top guards going. What do you like about that program? Uh, I like how they, they're fast-paced offense. Uh, Tommy Lloyd just went to Arizona, and he to, uh, we were talking to him about Gonzaga O, and like he's kind of like one of the like, – the guy behind the scenes who created the offense. So I, I like Gonzaga's really fast-paced offense scoring ability, and Mark Few is a really great coach. And Kentucky, I mean, they they always have successful guards, and you see the the rate that coach gets players to the NBA. Um, what are they saying to you, and what do you like about that program? Uh, uh, just reached out to Coach Chen. He's just talking like they're very interested. Uh, also, I just remembered one. Baylor has <laughs> talked to me. Uh, um, but no, yeah, Kentucky's just talking about they're just interested and like they enjoy my game. They feel like. I was like, I feel like a scoring guard, I can come to that program, you know, help produce wins. Obviously, you have so many of these schools that are interested in you that you could fit into multiple different programs. What is it about your game that you've seen kind of elevate from last year to this time? Uh, I would say coming off the ball screen, uh, making better decisions, like making sure getting the ball to my bigs or reading the corner guy if he drops, hitting him straight at, uh, quickly. I, I feel like that's gotten much better throughout this summer with Coach Ed and Coach Mo helping me with my big men this year. Okay, and I know you have a couple unofficial visits that you're going to be planning. Um, what's your first official or unofficial visit coming up? Um, I think it's Illinois next week, actually. Uh, and then I would definitely take more to Arizona. Uh, hopefully try to get back in Cali, go to USC and UCLA more. Uh, but I think my next one's Illinois. What are you looking for when you go and you take these unofficial visits? Um, are you just trying to get a better feel for the campus and the coaching staff and how they, how they play? Um, I definitely want to check out like the environment, like what's life around on the campus. Because if I'm going to commit to college, I want to know where I'm going to be living for about however long I'm there. And then um, mainly to me, it's just about if I can fit the style of offense, yeah. and if me and the coach have a good relationship, that's really all I need. Okay, and decision time frame. Like I said, you still have plenty of time. But is this something that you want to get done early with? Like if you find the right fit, or do you want to kind of see how teams develop and who you'd be playing with and and have it go a little bit longer? Uh, I'm definitely going to take my time this year. I'm definitely going to watch college basketball, see the programs I'm interested in, watch how they play, how the coaches are. I'm definitely going to take my time this year. Then I feel like maybe like some uh, my junior summer going into my senior year will be a time where I maybe uh, cut down my list and stuff and start committing and do a commit. 
Well, appreciate the update. Great job in this game. Um, for more information on Kyle and Buzz, we'll keep it right here on Rivals.com.